and I got some new bowls in. I'm super, super excited. So we're gonna get into this unboxing. Let's get into it. All right, so let me first bring up this one here. Oh, it won, it comes in a really nice, nice packaging. This one is the five and a half bowl. And this one is the um, singing bowl as well. This one is a, a nice small one. So as you see, there is a, a really big difference in size, right? So let's get into unboxing. And then you have another bowl here. So this one's a nice hammered one. And this is one that has a little design on it. And then even have has a design on the inside, which looks really, really nice. So really nice designs. So this one again, fits right inside. If you're going to stack any of your Tibetan bowls, it's definitely, definitely recommended that you use some type of felt or some type of cushion to not make them um, crack. You don't wanna place them directly on top of each other unless you're gonna have something to cover it. So again, like they had it here, they had the little felt inside and then placed it on top. Because if you get any cracks or anything inside of your Tibetan bowls, it's going to throw off the sound. So speaking of sound, let's get into how to make these smaller ones sing. So I'm gonna just place it directly in my hand and we're gonna see how the second size sounds. So let's play it. Very nice. So if you notice, the smaller ones have a more high pitch. The bigger ones tend to have a lower sound, deeper sound, more grounding. Ooh, that's a really, really nice sound. So again, you can do here, you can make it sing. It's really nice. Wow. And just feeling the energy just feels amazing. You can keep it going. This is just calming me down. Did you notice that my, my tone went down? You can also rim it. And sometimes it's nice to hear the mallet, you know, clinging. And as you begin to make the circles around, that's when you start to hear it start to sing. Wow. I love it. And again, make sure that your hand is completely flat. Wow. All right, so we're gonna do the smaller one. And I'm gonna again, put this in my hand and we're gonna start by the mallet side, the cushion part first. Ooh. I feel like this one even had a deeper sound than the bigger one, the medium sized one, which is very interesting. I don't know if that has anything to do with the hammered ones, the hand hammered uh, bowls. So that's also very interesting. Something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna move this plastic here so I make sure that you can see the bowls. All right, so let's try this one again. Ooh. And again. Wow. This has an amazing sound to it. Wow. And again, you can rim it. Wow. Now, okay, I'm already thinking about what I wanna do with these two because I like to travel and sometimes I don't want to bring my bowls because they can be kind of heavy to carry, especially if I'm trying to pack light and I'm doing a carry on size. But I think this one is like perfect to bring. So of course I would make sure that I have my cushion. I would probably put it on the inside and to also wrap it up and maybe wrap it up in one of my shirts or something like that to make sure that it stays fine. But I think this one's a perfect travel one. So if you like to travel with your singing bowls, but you don't want to bring a lot, this one might be a good one. 
All right, so let's make them sing together. So I'm actually gonna get up and I'm going to make it a little bit higher. So I'm gonna, so let's make these bowls sing. So I've already arranged them all here just to make them sing. Now I'm gonna use both mallets because it's easier to strike them with two hands. So I'm just gonna use the strike method on this one and we're gonna see how it sounds, all right? So I'm gonna take this one in my hand because this one's the smaller side here. So I'm gonna start with the bigger one. That just instantly just made me feel so much more calm. Really, really nice one. Like, I really, really like this big one. And I will tell you that I like the small one because I feel like I can travel with it. So let me give you some of the benefits of why you would want to use meditation ones, why it's good for sound healing. So some of the benefits that one, and you probably just saw that even with me playing them, it just relieves the stress. It relieves your anxiety. There's something about the vibration that really begins to release the chakras. Each one of these bowls has a different sound that comes out of them, and they are connected to a different chakra that runs within the body. So of course we have our chakras that are coming from root to crown, and it ties into each one of our chakras. So when you play it, it starts to really help to loosen up and open up and free up those chakras. Also, if you're going to do Reiki healing or anything like that, a lot of Reiki will do sound healing. It's really, really great to just release a lot of the energy, to move a lot of the energy around. So if you're not taking Reiki and you just wanna play the bowls, do it. It's beneficial. You will enjoy it.